Just to announce something else, we're still in the infancy of the, the changeover, but uh, I got to hide this banner. I have it over here. Uh, oh, I did have it over there. Damn it. Where did I forget it? There, okay. Uh, we also started a group called Big Apple Hockey. So uh, feel free to join that because uh, this is what we have for this. People keep saying to me, he's going, uh, that's great. What's the horse for? The plane in Belmont, people. That's yeah. I think the horse works very yeah. nice. Very nice on this one. So, yeah, we uh, definitely uh, want to get the uh, the devils in on that too. Um, yes, we then and I'm gonna I'm gonna get the devils in on there as well. Um, but I just I did it all yesterday. We were a little bit pressed for time. Uh, but also the other announcement to say is over the next week we will be changing the name of our podcast and channel to Big Apple Hockey. Uh, I'll have a video and a link for everything. So there's, we don't want to lose a single subscriber, uh, just in case if something goes wrong, hopefully that won't be the case. Um, cause I gotta trust all my YouTube metaphors. Yeah. I like the horse. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Um, um, oh, hey, by the way, sorry, uh, sorry. Go ahead. Hey. Anthony. The KHL uses um, like uses horses like that when they have like uh, their come playoff time where they have like brackets of which team is in which state. Some of those teams have like a horse as the as the logo. But well, I stole um, it from yeah, no, I, I, so <laughs> yeah, I, I I like it. I like it. I think I think it's a good name. I think it represents our roots. Um, but then it also. You know, obviously, doesn't include how we cover league-wide stuff, but overall, I think it's a, I think it's a great name. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I mean, I like it. it. It's more inclusive. I think we'll get more eyes on us too. I know some of the Ranger fans in here will probably be like, "Oh no, you're gonna have to talk about the other two teams more now." So, but I mean, it's hockey discussion, and that's what we want to do. It's it, it. We wanna we wanna be able to expand and talk about more teams around the league and talk about the other two teams in the area as well. We wanna we wanna grow this channel, and trust me, there will be more than enough Ranger content because the two of us up top will make sure that that is absolutely the damn case, and you all know that. Uh, the one down on the bottom will make sure that there's more than enough Islander content. So all you Islander fans that are in here watching, commenting, you will you will be you will be represented well. So right, and it's and and look, it's also uh, I would love it to be a place where we can completely shit talk each other, but also we gotta watch out for uh, internet guidelines and sometimes just keyboard commandos. But we're we're and, spamming. This is what we're this is what we're doing, and we aren't just uh, you know. Three schmucks, if you will, talking hockey. We have, we have connections, as evident by Michael Grabner and Marty Buran and Dave Panyota. So, um, stay tuned, guys, because you know we'll we'll continue to get those names on here and provide you guys with entertaining um, interviews and you know where you can have a laugh and get some you know intel as well. So, yeah, I, I about Brody, I noticed that with your with your logo that you're a fan of. The Rangers, the Sabers, the Canucks, and the Oilers. Wow, that's yeah. So I'm a Mick uh, Jesus guy, so yeah. And I was a Gretzky guy. I actually own a Gretzky Oilers jersey as well. So I have to finish up my Gretzky collection. I got to get my hands in a a '96 World Cup of Hockey Team Canada Gretzky jersey, and I've got to get my hands on a St. Louis Blues Gretzky one and. I'm trying to find a reasonably priced uh, Canada Cup, either 87 or 91 Gretzky jersey as well, and that's probably going to be a lot harder than it. Than it. So, so you got a uh, go ahead. You got some questions there from people, Mark? Uh yeah. yeah. Well, by the way, we're going to start taking your questions, everybody. And um, also, I, I do have to admit, I, I kind of made a faux pas a Sunday night. Uh, that a guy comes in wearing a Ranger jersey. Um, his name was Kevin. Uh, great guy uh, that I was talking to him. And he was wearing it, and it's a 93. And for some reason, I thought immediately Peter Nedved. Moron. Um, so, you know, of course, it was the Mika Zibanejad. So, you know, brain fart in the absolute worst way. Um, 
I'll, I'll go into some here. Um, this one, I don't know if we can really yeah. answer this fully just because, but it, we developed it during off the post and Anthony did a lot of hard work on that. And um, his hard work is obviously paying off as you guys can see. So well, I, I can say that Anthony does a hell of a job getting the guests on here. Um, that's his work. He works his ass off on those guys. Um, we don't even know if we had Michael Grabner for sure until like, till just before he came on. So, yeah. uh, and, and was yeah. great on that. So yeah. Uh, Ant, if you want to go further on this, I, I I'll leave the yeah. ball right there. Thanks. Well, thank you. Um, so yeah, Michael Grabner, you know, I, I was, I was texting him, um, you know, the reason why we kind of didn't like tag him and plaster it all over was because while it seemed that he was going to come on, he never didn't really get the definitive 100 percent until kind of like, you know, maybe like 10 minutes before he came on. Um, but, yeah, as far as no, we our connections, not through friends. It's us ourselves. Um, you know, John and I had our show off the post you know, we covered the draft in Dallas. Um, you know, and let's just say, you know, I have I have access to, you know, certain media guides um, from that. And I still do. So, um, you know, just from, you know, I guess, you know, good reputation of interviewing other people, you know, word travels. And, you know, most of the time people are receptive to, uh, to coming on. But, yeah, um, like John so kindly said, you know, I work hard at getting people on here and I hope to continue to do that for you guys. So now I'm not going to lie. I, I don't think I'm ever going to be getting big Lou on here or anybody like that because uh, <laughs> he shuts that stuff down. But, um, you know, for sure, analysts, analysts, players, you know, broadcasters, that's all on our wheelhouse. And, uh, you know, we're going to keep bringing that to you. And, and to give you um, guys some further references, we'll, we'll give you some of the names that we've had on, on Off the Post. Mike Lang, former TV, now radio guy of the Pittsburgh Penguins. Scratch my back with a hacksaw. Yeah. Get that dog off my porch. <laughs> that guy. Uh, if you want more incredible goal calls, Randy Moeller, uh, radio guy in Florida. Oh, Alexander Barkov, I go to work like a doctor. Yeah, that. By the way, former New York Ranger Randy Muller. Former New York Ranger and Saber Randy Muller. Um, Joe Beninati, Craig Lachlan, and Alan May for um, Comcast uh, or now NBC Sports Washington, Washington Capitals broadcasts their play by play, um, uh, color commentary, and behind the, uh, in the benches guy. Um, Brendan Burke, Brendan Burke, New York Islanders and NBC Sports National, Stan Fischler, Steve Mears, Steve yeah. Mears, and yeah, we're working Pelosi. on Valley. We yeah, guys, we are yeah. on Valley. So um, I'm work. I'm working on Valley. Uh, hopefully, it's something that I could you know get here in the coming. Anthony yeah, is also definitely. working on Kevin Weeks as well. Yeah. Ooh. So yeah, we're yeah we're working on those two. Um. Also, I mean, we've had uh, Steve Cangelosi from the Devils. Um, uh, I've personally interviewed Sam Cosentino of Sportsnet and Alan May. Alan May was one of the guys I had personally. I personally interviewed Dar uh, John Shannon. Um, it, we Dennis Potvin. A, Dennis Potvin has actually trolled me on air. That was <laughs> that <on> air. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so Anthony <laughs> kind of told Dennis Potvin that I used to chant the Potvin sucks chants a lot. <laughs> and De Dennis yeah. had some fun with that, so I, I ended up the ass end of a joke. But um, and thank you, Johnny. We appreciate that. Yes, and uh, I, I try to keep it to a minimum. That sometimes it's 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 just slips. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. Try to be, you know, profession, professional and professionalism goes a long way with people. You know, we don't want to be um, just you know, kind of like trashy or anything like that offend anybody. So we try to keep it no. PC to an extent. No. Yeah. We're, 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 we're not, we're not a podcast version of Jerry Springer or anything like that. So um, we're, we're not going to be like that, but we, like, like I said, there, there's even more names that I, I don't want to go on and on about the names that we've had, but this, we like to keep teetering the line between professionalism and fun. 
because once we start getting a little too more towards professionalism, it becomes a little boring and becomes a little informative. Like there are other shows out there that I watch on YouTube that are extremely informative, but they're not as fun because it's, it's an informative type of video and that's fine. That's totally fine. But we have our method. You guys seem to like it. We love it. We don't have to change what we are to stay within our guidelines. And that's what we want to do. So, you know, they always say, use what brought you to the dance. Learn the dance. Yeah. <laughs> and, and again, uh, what I like about you guys and your networking is it lets me focus on the content, which I think that's where my expertise is. So if you want to call it that. Uh, and what's below expertise? I don't know where this that one. I, I, I would say we're we're kind of like the Power Rangers. We're like a Megazord that comes together, or Voltron. <laughs> you know, with, you know, everything just comes together. And 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 honestly, this comment says it right here. We're authentic. That's what we want to be. We don't want to be a. We don't want to be some sort of knockoff of another show. We want to be ourselves and we want to have fun with this because that's, that's what this is. Ultimately it's three guys BSing about hockey, but we want to be informative too. And we want to break things down, but we want to have fun because it's funny. I was at, I was at boss Croker's the other night and I had somebody tell me that one of the best things about our show was the fact that we are authentic and that people can relate to us because we're, we're not, we're not super uptight. We're not super professional, but we are professional to a point. And I think that's what works for us. And judging from the comments, I think you guys agree. And I'm, I'm happy that you do. So we're, we're going to continue doing what we're doing. We're not going to change. The name change is one thing. And the content and talking more about the other two teams in the area is, is one thing. But we're not changing our formula. We're, it's not going to just you know disappear. It's going to be the same show. And obviously, we're we're getting more eyeballs. We're getting um, more guests. I love I love the guest format now because now if we get a guest on twenty minutes, quick conversations, and then and then they're off. And and, and occasionally we get guys from other stations that stop by too, like Statboy Steven stopped in, did a marathon with John. So it's uh, John. John is the marathon man uh, <laughs> at, at streaming. Uh, <laughs> Like we were gonna have we, one reason why we were we were actually scripted for a short uh, short show, uh, short show today was because he was supposed to go see Corn and Stain tonight, and unfortunately they had to cancel that uh, show. Which, by the way, John, I do have four extra tickets for the whatever the rain check is. So in case yeah, it's September twenty eighth. We'll we'll talk about that. So all right. Um. So yeah, but I mean that's uh, available for you. But again, it's we're, we're going to always try to produce the best content for you. And it's like I finally started listening to one of the guys that always said, Mark, why do you keep putting music behind everything? I was like, because music makes it all a little bit better. But um, it's it's just uh, it's now it's we're actually our audio is good enough. I don't need the hide bed audio edits behind the music. Uh, also, um uh damn i for, i i had my thought i just lost it anyway go ahead i'm gonna remember it in a minute john well uh i mean i'm gonna go through some of these other comments and i want to go back to up to this one earlier i'm trying to find it probably or was the best all-around player to ever play the game yeah one of them i mean he early one of them if I if I ever argue a player against Wayne Gretzky for the greatest hockey player ever, it's usually Bobby Orr for me or Gordy Howe. Mario Lemieux was incredible at what he did, and he was dominant, but only Bobby Orr and Gordy Howe have ever dominated the game anywhere close to what Wayne Gretzky did. So that mm -hmm. that's why. Mario Lemieux, I mean, we've seen that. Bobby Orr changed the game, and Gordy was – the most dominant player ever before, before Wayne Gretzky came along. So, um, I, I I'll just I'll just say that. Um, I do remember one thing that now I, I remember now what I was trying to say. Like we're we're all talking about doing bar meetups and stuff like that. Uh, but also, uh, 
I ha I, it's, it's not confirmed yet, but I'm supposed to be traveling to Nashville on October 21st to see uh, the Rangers play there. And I'm going to be with a couple of friends. I'm probably going to have some videos of whenever I'm on the road um, doing things because that is one thing I want to do with this channel. Not only do I want to meet Ranger fans that are here in New York and Long Island and anywhere. I, I literally mean the word anywhere is what comes through. Uh, Dean shows up. He's from he's he's coming in from Greece. Oh, no, there's my headshot again. <laughs> Uh, then, um, then we had a guy blue shirt from Australia. So it would be great to see him again as well. Um, I did, one of my biggest thrills, uh, was the, uh, the Edmonton game when, uh, in 20 Macarat's first goal was that 2016. Ah, uh, there it is. There's 2016, 2016. All right. I went and I was in the 100 section with a friend of mine, uh, Nick Padula. And behind us were uh, guys that came in from Germany, and it was their first game. And it was such a thrill uh, being right there with those guys. So, again, uh, my intention for some of my content is not only to do it here in New York, but also to be on the road to see other Ranger fans, stuff like that. I don't know necessarily I'm doing it on this trip, but um, I'd be more than happy to and I'll, I'll share any videos of whatever I'm on the road. If you like that video, we got a lot more. So check out any of these that are right over here. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Mm, your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.